my name is Tomas and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video we'll try to make a zero clearance plate for the Rage 5 Evolution with limited amount of tools. Check out the video. So a few weeks back I've actually made this zero clearance insert from a piece of hardwood and it came out absolutely beautiful it fits fine and it works fantastic now the problem with that was I've used a ton of different um, tools and it took absolute ages to take it to this point now in this video I will try to reproduce this uh, zero clearance plate but with less amount of tools and hopefully a much easier and accessible process so in this case I'm actually going to be using 12 millimeter plywood and to start with we'll be using the table saw itself to cut it to smaller pieces so for accuracy I'm actually going to be using my table sled to cut out uh, three pieces out of this plywood as I'm going to do a three base blades I do use different types and different sizes of blades hence more base blades are needed in my workshop now you can you don't have to build a table sled like this one obviously it's, it could be fairly complicated if you are interested in this table sled uh, I've done a video I'll link it up above and down below in the description of this video um, but yeah you can make something really basic where you don't need any major tools to actually make it there's plenty of videos on YouTube showing how you can make a basic sled Now one thing that you have to remember, the pieces of plywood need to be slightly bigger than the main insert plate. So I would say about 2-3 millimeters around the perimeter of the insert itself. We'll refine that a bit later on to the right dimensions. The next tool that we're actually going to be using is a router with a router table. I'm going to use some hot glue to glue this on to the piece of um, plywood and then I'm going to use this pattern bit um, on my router table to actually go over the edges of the template itself to have an absolutely dead-on representation of the insert itself. Um, obviously please make sure not to leave too much material around because then the router will struggle a little bit so one two millimeters is absolutely fine and you won't have any issues. Just a really quick one guys, if you're enjoying this video, drop me that like button down below. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel and press that bell notification button and change it to all so you don't miss any of my future content. But let's get back to the project. So after using the router and we've got the correct shape, now it's time to refine the edges a little bit. So I'm just going to use my sander and go around on the edges just to remove any marks um, after routing and basically making it smooth. Now the next thing we need to sort out is the ledge that goes around uh, the insert itself. The depth of it is four millimeters. So now we have to remove enough stock from uh, the inserts that the four millimeter edge is left around it and it will be uh, going nicely inside of the insert and flush to the table. Now there's two ways of doing it. You can use the router to actually do that as I did in my last video. Or you can use the table saw itself with the sled, which I'm going to do today. Okay. 
In the next step, we need to sort out these two notches, as you can see uh, on the back of the plate itself. That's basically one of the two-part security system uh, for the plate itself. The other one, obviously, is at the front um, with the lock. Quite easy thing to do. We're again going to go back to the table saw and the sled. Right, so as the back supports are now sorted, we need to think about the front locking mechanism. And again, that's actually going to be very similar to what I have done before. But whereas uh, before I've used a washer, now this time um, I'm going to use one of these angle uh, metal supports, as you can see there. And basically hammered it to a flat state. And that's the easiest and quickest way I've found to actually make these. And as you've seen so far, this is actually a fairly simple process, even the locking mechanism. I just used some CA glue to basically bind uh, the nut and, and the, the bolt to each other. And you know, that's not going to go anywhere. If there will be some slack later on, I'm just going to reapply a bit of CA glue and that will be absolutely fine. But if you want to have a bit more permanent solution, you can drop another nut on it and you know it shouldn't move at all although with the vibration from the saw it probably will come off eventually so i think this ea glue is actually a fairly solid solution now um the biggest problem in this whole build is the fact that when you drop the insert it will not go flush because of the blade the blade is basically almost flush to the tabletop uh, about three or four millimeters down now the best and far I think the easiest way to sort this out is to use a router and take off some of the material from the bottom of the plate so you're going to leave about 3-4 millimeters from the top.
So as you've seen, it's not really that difficult of a process. The one additional tool, apart from the table saw, you're really going to need is the router. It really makes this job a lot easier. And as I say, you can really get a budget one for 30 few quid and you're all done and sorted. And I'll tell you what, you're going to find a lot of projects using a router. Now, the one I was using is the a router from a company named Katsu, and it looks like a one to one ripoff of the Makita one. And I have to say, it works and it's absolutely fine. I actually made a video about it, so check out the link above and the description of this video, as I will link it as well. That video, so you can check out. It's actually a quite a decent, really cheap, budget friendly router. And I made obviously this one as an initial one from Hardwood. If you want to see the whole process of making that, Again, I will link it up above now and down below in the description of this video. As you probably noticed, I've actually made a few more templates as well. Um, quite a lot of you actually asked me if I'm going to be selling those. Um, I am quite limited on time of how much time I can actually spend in this workshop. As you know, I do have a full-time job, 9 to 5. So um, it's not as easy to actually get the shop time. Now, as I mentioned, I've done a few of those, but to be fair, most of them are actually already pre-ordered by um, some of you. But if you want to head to my Etsy shop, um, uh, there will be an option there to basically order one. So it's made to order. And please bear in mind, it could take me between 7 to 14 days if you're willing to wait for that. It's only purely because of the time restrictions, not by the amount of work that's involved in this. So if you're interested in buying one of the uh, plywood versions, check me out on Etsy. I'll drop a link down below. And if you want to order one, thank you very much. If you want to check out any of my other projects, please check this playlist. It should appear just right now about the, my shop and the improvements, the workbench and anything else I made. Click it now, have a look at those videos. But for me, that's all. Have a fantastic week. Take care.